What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Bandit Bill Outdoors. Uh, today we are out at the lake, but we're not going to be doing any fishing. Uh, we're just going to unload the boat real quick into the water, uh, pull the trailer back up, and we're going to switch out the current roller that's on the trailer for the bow or whatever. Put a Droto or Drodo or whatever, however you say it, catch and release boat latch on the trailer so it's easier for us to trailer um, and whatnot when we are loading and unloading. So, we're gonna put one of those Drodos on. We got this at Shields today. It's just the, they're called Drodo Catch and Release Boat Latches. Um, so this is what we're gonna be putting on the trailer. All it is is a little, uh, we got the one with the roller, but all it is is a little latch. You drive your boat right onto the trailer and this latch then catches your eyelet. Um, so it'll, we'll mount it right here and then you can just drive the boat right on it catches the latch automatically catches that eyelet so you don't have to bend over the boat and put the winch on and everything before you pull it out of the water so that is what we're going to be doing today carly's here to help of course we got the boat back into the water over there and we're going to go ahead and pop this roller off because this is where the drodo will sit so we're just gonna do that. It's a three quarter inch socket. So that's the old roller coming off. See it's banged up, it's got a little bit of use. We already put, so when you guys open this box, it'll come with a roller and we just put that on there real quick. Um, and then this just sits right here. We'll put the pin through, bolt it on. Fairly tight so it doesn't slip down like that. And then your final angle, once we get the boat on and it's sitting, I'll tighten it up all the way because that angle is going to be whatever your the hole your boat is. Um, so right now we're just going to leave it like that. And that's really all there is to it. And then your handle will just go on like this however you want it. It actually goes on. Let's see why it points outwards. And then your pin will go through like that. So, and then when you're ready to release your boat, you'll just pull this up and it'll let go of that uh, clamp that's on your eyelet on your boat and release it. So we'll just run a string onto the boat uh, so that way when we're unloading it, whoever's driving it back and then it out, probably Carly. Uh, we'll just pull that string and we'll let go over. We'll take the winch and the safety off before we start backing it up. And this will hold until we get down there. Yeah, but when we're, we're traveling, we'll still use the winch just to, you know, play it safe and whatnot, but. But we switched around the handle a little bit so you can like this has like finger I don't know, whatever so you can grab it or whatever and pull it so we just flip this handle around a little bit so it can go out like this and then when you pull it it'll catch it whatever release so we just mess that around a little bit we're gonna load the boat up now and see if it doesn't stay on here and then we'll get this angle just perfect tighten this bolt real tight and that'll be it so we're gonna try to load it here 
All right, so we got the boat up. As you can see, if you come in here, the so it hooks onto the eyelet, then you can still use your safety chain and your winch uh, after you get up out of the water just to be safe. Um, so that's what we went ahead and did. And now that we know the angle that it's at, obviously, because the boat's on there, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten this bolt all the way up. And that's all there is to it. It's a super simple installation there. Um, literally takes a three quarter inch uh, socket and something to hold the other side, whether it's a three quarter inch uh, wrench or a pair of pliers, whatever it is. But other than that, it's super simple. Uh, takes probably five minutes, 10 minutes to put it on, get everything set. And like I said, that's all there is to it, so. As you guys can see, the other two boats at the ramp today also have this Drodo system. So I think we're in good hands. Hopefully you guys enjoyed if this was useful give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you guys have an experience with the drodos uh drodos whatever they are and let me know what your guys' experience are if you guys like them hate them uh, whatever it is they seem useful um and i've seen a couple of boats at the uh, ramp use them so hopefully they're useful but like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys on the next one and don't forget to explore the outdoors